Hi, my name is Justin Odisho for Adobe Video, and in this episode of my playlist covering motion graphic templates and media replacement, I'm going to show you how to actually export your template out of After Effects. So we've created our basic template, and the first thing we're going to do is add some finishing touches like some animations. So I can actually highlight my shape layers, drop down their transformation sections, and add keyframes to the position to animate them in and out. So for example, if I hit this stopwatch icon, it'll highlight blue and create a keyframe at this current position. Since this is the desired final result position, I want to just drag that forward a little bit. And then in this current initial space, I can move it, let's say all the way to the left. So it begins outside of the screen. So it'll play like this slowly coming in. And you can adjust the spacing and the timing of the keyframes to your desired likeness. Now I can do that for all three of the shape layers, animating each of them coming in from the top or sides or bottom. And I can even stagger the animations so that some are faster or slower than others. So in final, we have three squares coming in from the top, bottom, and side, like so. I can also go to my effects and presets panel, and in the animation presets of the text folder, I can find certain animate in effects, such as typewriter. These are built in and I can just put my playhead where I want them to start and then drag them onto the clips. So perhaps I can even stagger those a couple frames. And now the clips will play like a typewriter. If it's a little slow, I can drop down those parameters of the text, go to the animator range, and then just drag them in a little bit to make it faster. And the same way that we animated the shapes in, we can also animate everything out. So let's say I knew each of these was only gonna be, let's say animate out at the five second mark. I can do the same thing with keyframes on the position, start like so, and then make them disappear off the screen. So you can even copy and paste the keyframes. For example, if I just copy and paste these, Command C, Command V, if I wanted them to animate out the same way that they came in, or you can even make them animate out a different direction, or even in Premiere Pro later, we can just, you know, add a fade to black or something. There's many possibilities. Now for the text, I can do the same thing, or I'll just choose a different animate out. You can do these by hand or just pick which one you like, but I'll just choose this fade out text and drag that onto both. It'll add the keyframes from that starting position. And then we have a starting to finish template that animates in, lasts about four or five seconds, and then animates out, and we can kind of stack and match that in Premiere later. But if we wanna actually export this, we wanna open up our Essential Graphics panel. So in the window, Essential Graphics, if you don't see it, I'm going to drag in each of my video clip layers. So one, two, and three, and I'm just using this pool clip as a placeholder but eventually we'll be able to do replace it with anything we want. I can even set different thumbnail images just so we can see the difference by clicking here at different times. So we can kind of see that these are three different ones. And then if I actually drop down my text parameters, I can drag in certain parameters about the text that we want the template to be able to change. So I can adjust the source text. And if I even edit properties in that panel, I can enable custom font or sizes. We can actually name this, so I can do something like three squares intro. Now, the same way we created thumbnail images for each slide, we can actually create a kind of thumbnail for the entire sequence, because right now it's just going off of the first frame, which is black. But if I just click on this square, it'll set the thumbnail to wherever the timeline is at, which is another nice tip. And also, if there was any extra composition time that you made because you weren't sure what the animation was going to be like, this is where you can go to Composition Settings and cut down the duration to be exactly whatever you ended up using. In my case, that'll be five seconds. And I can export the motion graphics template by pressing this button. You do need to save your project, and it'll allow you to then export your motion graphics template to wherever you choose. So not only can you save it just on your local drive, you can also save it onto a local templates folder, so that way you won't have to install it when it goes into Premiere, but I'll show you both ways just in case you're downloading things and template files from the web. 
In the next episode of this series, we're going to go into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how you can import that new template that you just made and begin working with it all in Premiere.